now begins the fun part. I actually get to put some clothing up. I get to look at cards. I still have to build a desk, but I've been doing so much infrastructure stuff, plowing the driveway, the parking lot, shoveling, ordering. I just wanna put out clothing, you know? So I've got like, look at this, duffel bags, just full of stuff. This whole suitcase. If I was a Jaguars fan, I would love this. Tons of jackets, football jerseys, even a Broncos one. Signed jerseys. Let's go into the back. This is all the back stock. So everything that's out, there's still more. Had to put a couple cool pictures in here. Reagan with Roger Clemens. Clemens signed. Here's all the rest of the clothing all piled up. Look at that. I have so much stuff covering the couch. Need a Patriots coat, Rangers coat, maps and old stuff. It's about to get crazy. I have a lot of inventory to put out and I still feel like I don't have enough. Let's go over to the podcast area. So this is my favorite part of the shop. Just put together this couch and this love seat, really two couches. And then you've got the podcast chairs here. That's where the visual is gonna be. And this big old 86 inch TV that's going up on that wall. This is really gonna be the spot where everything goes down. I'm gonna have all the athletes, guests, celebrities, people talking about cards. That's what this podcast is about, talking about collectibles, things that you've collected as a kid, things that you collect now. I'm gonna ask players, you know, do you collect yourself? Do you collect your own card? It's starting to look like a shop and I just need to keep, keep on, keep it on. It's Wednesday, we're opening Saturday. So I've got today, basically I have three days to be ready. And I'm gonna go down to my guy uh, down in Massachusetts to go get some new cards on Friday because um, I just need more new stock. So I'll show you what we have here right now. You know, I got 2023, 20, 24 basketball, last year's basketball, Allen and Ginter. These were weird packs, but got them. Got 23 football, hockey, hockey, 23 football, more basketball. I think I got a baseball hiding here. Yep. Tops Chrome, baseball. So what I'm trying to say is I am the brand new owner of a sports cards and collectibles store with vintage clothing and toys and anything that's collectible, we're gonna have it. We're in Scarborough, Maine, US Route 1, 370. We are right across from Land Rover. All you gotta do is just look for this sign, okay? You're gonna see it north or south on Route 1. Just look for the sign. I designed the logo myself. I gotta keep telling people that. And come in, buy cards, buy clothing. Um, we're gonna have toys, old paper ephemera, jerseys, vintage shirts, hoodies, everything. And we got our own branded merch. See? Double play, cards and collectibles. So, if you wanna get a hat, I got beanies too. Got shirts and hoodies on the way. I'm opening Saturday, I got three days to get ready. I have to get back to work. today so we get some cases in here uh, we're gonna have to build them I guess because they're all just pieces of uh, board and glass again just building stuff but 
with brand new cases. Taking this seriously. Okay, got the new displays in. The glass is heavy. You can't make up this timing. My dad rolls up right after I get done unloading the whole shipment. Your timing is amazing. I just unloaded the whole shipment of cases. Oh really? Yeah. Well I know how to avoid work. <laughs> I told you. Found mystery bag of action figures. I was looking through one of these boxes I thought was gonna go to the flea market with my dad, and I said, what is this? So we're gonna take a look and see who is in the bag and if anybody is worth anything. Superman. Oh good, we got another Spider-Man because I've been wanting to do this Spider-Man thing because I've got these guys. So now we can do the pointing meme. Uh, this guy. Got Robin. Penguin. Captain America. Sweet. Aquaman. And then we got, I don't know, this lady right here. And some cars. Snoopy. Bert from Bert and Ernie. Donald Duck. Mickey. Okay. Random bag discovered. I made great progress today and I forgot that I need to ship to eBay packages so I gotta run home because I left them at home. I have to go downtown to the post office because they close at 7 so I have like just a little under an hour uh, to get that in and make that happen and then I gotta come back here wrap something up and then I gotta go back home and record a zoom and then I'll probably be home for the night because the zoom's at like 8.30 um, for Treasure Games. If you guys don't know, I'll be talking about Treasure Games a lot. Let's roll to the post office. It's not totally lit up. I was gonna have a lit up sign, but I didn't want to deal with the town and the permitting. I'm sure it wouldn't have been that difficult. And we have motion sensor lights out here in the lot, which is really great. So if somebody's walking around like I am, It'll actually pick them up. All right, y'all. Mail has been dropped. I'm not a fan of going down to the post office here because there's usually no parking. But at the end of the day, at 6.38 p.m., there's nobody there. So you can just pull through and do the, the drop slot. Um, I need to get some food, though. i got to get some energy for the Zoom. <sighs> Finally back. Oh, let's see what Pops is making. Oh, look at these icicles. That's winter. It's pretty for two seconds and then you realize you're cold. And it's some BS. I just made it to the post office. I forgot about these two eBay packages that were sitting here. Oh, yeah. So, what you got? Some chicken? I got some cooked chicken. You can heat it up. Nice. Yeah, we eat, and back we go. I figured I'd bring some stuff with me. I mean, if I'm gonna make a trip home anyway, might as well have some stuff to bring back that I need, like this extra television. I got my TV and stuff in here. I gotta set up for a Zoom call. All right, man, well, it was good talking to you. Uh, best of luck hunting, and hopefully we're having this conversation in, I don't know, however long it takes you to find the, uh, the lamp. Another one down. Y'all. It's been a very long day. A very long day. I'm gonna spend like one more hour here working and then go home because I'm tired. I didn't make it to the gym today. Still have an hour and 15 minutes, but it's not happening. I just did an interview for Treasure Games where I'm a host. I'm like uh, the Carson Daly of 
this treasure hunting platform. Back with another one. Guys, I'm in my new studio setup. This whole new craze, it's uh, literally a nationwide treasure hunt. Right now you're looking for basically a genie lamp. Uh, the game is called Wish Lamps. And there's one guy who I just interviewed in, he lives in Texas and he thinks he's within like a couple miles. I don't know, I don't think so, but they don't tell me where the treasure is. So maybe he is. Um, it's kind of cool to meet people who are finding our platform, finding our app, who I don't know. He said he just saw local news in Austin and um, his girlfriend told him to go play. So he is playing and his whole family's playing and he's, he got his kid up one morning at 5 a.m. and they drove out and, uh, and he lives in, I think, Odessa and they're out there looking for land and places that it could be. The only place the lamps can't be is private residential property, so public land, commercial um, property is totally kosher, private commercial. Not private residential, but private commercial. Anyway, uh, when I'm not so tired, I'll explain what the game's all about. But this has been a day, and I'm gonna put this into a vlog, so the vlog is back, okay? The vlog is really back, because now I'm gonna be in the shop every day, and I have things going on. Um, not that I didn't have stuff going on before, but I don't know, it's a focus. And I have energy to do it again. I've taken a long enough break. Vlog is back. Peace.